Hi, I'm Lizzie Howald, and I am going to show you a fun way to upcycle your traditional Buckeye necklaces. So first things first, we are going to pick out our color scheme. You can use any colors that you like, but today I am going to be using scarlet and gray. This is uh, bakeable polymer clay that you can buy online. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is once you've picked out your colors, you're going to want to cut your colors into small pieces, um, which we will then roll together. This technique is one of like the easiest ones that you can do. And there's a lot that you can do once you learn how to mess with the medium. All right, so once you have all of your colored pieces cut up, you are just going to roll them together and combine the clay into one piece. I think it is easiest to kind of make a ball out of the pieces. And from there, roll it into a somewhat thick cylinder. So next, what you'll do is you will cut your cylinder into about the same size piece, but it doesn't have to be exact. And from there, you'll lay your pieces out together flat. Once you have your pieces out together, you're going to use anything you want. Um, I have a little rolling pin. You can use a rolling pin. You can use a can of Coke, if that's what you have, um, to kind of flatten the pieces into one uh, slab. And you're gonna wanna flip them over to make sure that you don't have any seams across your piece and that it is structurally sound. From here, you're gonna go ahead and take um, stencils and cut out your pieces. You can get these stencils online, but you can also use items around your home, like the cap of a pill bottle or a soda can to uh, create your circular cutouts. Next, before baking, you are going to want to put holes into your pieces of jewelry. I have a tool to do this, but again, you can use something around your house. A ballpoint pen or a pencil is perfect. Um, when putting your holes in, you wanna make sure that you do both the top and the bottom of the piece so that you can attach from both ends on your necklace. After this, you will take all of your pieces, put them on a cookie tray, and bake in the oven at 200 degrees for 20 minutes. The next thing that you are going to do is take these pieces, which are called jump rings, you can buy these at any craft store, and you are going to attach them to the clay beads that you have made at the top and bottom. The next thing that you'll want to do is pick out your favorite buckeye beads as well as your favorite polymer beads and lay out the design of your necklace. Now I will take my chain, which again can just be bought at any craft store or online, um, and cut different lengths of chain as I move. All right, when you get towards the end of your necklace and you've attached your pieces, you're going to take one chain and attach a jump ring to the end. Then with your final chain, You'll attach that to your last bead. You'll use one more jump ring at the end of your second piece of chain to attach a clip. You can also make your piece long enough if you don't have this to just go over your head, but if you'd like, you can add the clip on. And then you have your finished Buckeye necklace. Happy crafting and go Bucks.